Hey to all my crafty divas out there. Today I'm coming to you guys with another do-it-yourself project. I think you guys will really enjoy this. Hopefully you enjoy all the do-it-yourself projects that I come up with. But um, this one is another jewelry do-it-yourself project. Again, you guys know, as I always tell you, all of my do-it-yourself projects are really simple, really easy. They're kid-friendly. Um, some of them with the, uh, you know, the supervision of an adult, but pretty much, you know, it's kid-friendly. And they're simple to do and inexpensive so if you're ready for this tutorial let's get started okay first of all today we are going to be making these beautiful feather earrings feather earrings they've been around for a long time um, I think for the last year or two they've been really really trendy and I just think that it's an accessory no matter what it is whether it's like feather hair accessories or earrings or whatever I just don't think that feather earrings will ever kind of go out of style I just think they're cute they're fun um, especially since spring and summer is right around the corner and for me personally it cannot get here soon enough okay but anyway these earrings are really fun let me take it out and show you guys they're really fun, really simple to do. Um, these are just some black and yellow ones. Really cute on some chain. But they're really cute and really, really fun. Um, the, the, you know, materials needed is like nothing really. It's going to be like under $10, if that, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. The items that you will be needing today for this tutorial for the feather earrings is um, some scissors of course which you should have um, some wire cutters um, if you don't have wire cutters you know you might not need it you know maybe whatever you have you can use some um, pliers or even scissors if the wire is thin enough um, but what you'll be needing the 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 wire cutters for is to cut your chain so like I said if you could do that with a simple pair of scissors then by all means do that but that's what the um, ooh, the wire cutters are for um, you will need some chain just a small piece of chain because what we're gonna do is cut it in two okay you will need um, flat nose pliers and you will need the round nose pliers you will also need some jump rings okay just some small jump rings um, and you will need about, let's see, two, four, two, four, I think you only need four jump rings. Um, and then you will need these little clasps. I'm not exactly sure what they are called because I already took them out of the bag. Um, try to show you what they look like here. They look like this. Okay, let me turn to the side. It's got these little, I think they're called like clamps or something like that. But that's how they look. And it's just got this little thing on the top here. Um, but it's like a clasp. Um, almost like a, um, it's not a lobster clasp. But it's, um, what are they? They're, they're similar to like crimp beads. Because what they're going to do, is they're going to be crimping um, whatever you put inside of it. Okay? Which in our case, we're going to be putting these feathers inside of it and clamping it and holding it shut. So the earrings can dangle. Okay, so these you can get in a packs of, I don't know, probably 15 or 24 or something like that at your local craft store. And it's probably about $4 for maybe about, you know, 12 or something like that, 12, 15 of them. But anyway, you can get these at your local craft store. And these, would you will need about four of these as well. Okay, and the last thing you will need is, are you ready? Are you ready? Some boas yes I said boas okay so here I have a white one I have a pink one Ooh. I have the yellow one that I just used for these earrings I have black which I also just used for these earrings then I have this beautiful purple okay so today I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the pink and the white this project can get a little messy especially with the feathers you're gonna have feathers everywhere so just you know prepare yourself for that look I already got feathers all over me okay so if you're ready oh the boas that you can get them I would suggest this is just me 
excuse me, going to your local dollar store. You guys, I love the dollar store. I can't get enough of it. There's so much stuff there that you can find, um, like that you can make crafts out of. It's just ridiculous. But I got my local bow, or I my my local boas. I got my boas at my local dollar store for a dollar. So really inexpensive. They're a pretty good length. They're like little girl boas. So they're not really, really, you know, huge or long. Um, but if you don't, you know, if you can't find them, if they don't have them at your local um, dollar store, then you can definitely also get them at your craft store. They are a little bit more expensive for the boas. Um, they are though I will say there are um, the ones that the craft stores are a lot bigger uh, they're thicker um, so you're probably gonna pay $4.99 to maybe $6.99 for a boa at the craft store but I would definitely check your local um, dollar store because I got these in the party area um, where the party supplies are so that's where I got mine okay so if you have everything and you're ready to get started let's jump into it because I'm not trying to make this really long and I hope you guys can follow along because it's really simple I promise you okay so what you're gonna go ahead and do first is first you're gonna decide you know how long you want your boa or your earrings to be um, if you want them to be shorter you can, you can cut off a shorter part of it um, and what this is the boas they are just feathers tied on to a rope okay that's what these boas are made out of um, when I cut it I'll try to show you but anyway, um, if you don't want to do like two, you know, two different colors, you can definitely just do one solid color and make it like really long. Like you can make it like this length so they'll hang like that, which is really pretty. I might just do that because I kind of like this pink. Yeah, I might just do that. So I might not even be using the white, you guys. It just depends on how I do it. But anyway, you can make it as long as short as you want. It's totally your preference. Um, we're going to do these longer because we're going to make a longer earring. So, and you can kind of measure it, hold it up to your ear and measure, you know, how long you want it to be, which that looks like a pretty good length right there. So, what I'm going to do is you're going to take your scissors and um, just cut where you want it to, to end or start or whatever. So, we're just going to cut right here. Okay. And then you're just gonna, you know, pull off any excess feathers. Not a big deal, because not a lot will come off. Um, or you can also take your, um, you know, your scissors and kind of trim around it. So I'm gonna show you right here. This is where, this is, if you can see here, it's sticking up. This is the rope right here, okay? It's just a white rope or whatever. And you want to leave this on here. You don't wanna cut it off because this is what is going to hold on to these clamps okay um, you can trim it just a little bit which I will do just show you okay so I just cut off just a little bit and I still have a little bit on there and like I said you just want enough for the clasp to grip onto so then you want to go ahead and take your little clasp and you want to place the top of it. This is going to be really hard to see, first of all, because I have fat fingers. I'm sorry. But um, you're pretty much just going to put this tip area right here. And like I said, you can trim these, you know, some of this, uh, uh, the feathers away. But you're going to put this once into the clasp. Okay? So it's going to look like this. This is a really bad angle and I'm so sorry you guys but you get that you kind of hopefully you understand but you're just gonna put the clasp or you're gonna put the feather um, tip of it right in the top of the clasp it, it can even overlap the top of the clasp a little bit that's fine um, because all you want is to have a super good hold on it then you're gonna take your needle nose pliers um, if you don't have needle nose pliers, if you can use your fingers to bend the clasp in, by all means do so, but it's really hard to do. So then you just want to take your clasp and squeeze one side in. These are tricky too. These are really tricky. But, ooh. So squeeze the clasp in and just squeeze it as hard as you can do it. And, uh, I'll show you here in a minute because right now it looks all you see is feathers I know I'm sorry um, 
to see the clasp all you're doing is flattening the clasp on there you're flattening these ends that you see here the ends of these you're flattening them inwards okay which is holding on to the feather so all you want to do is squeeze on the other side like I said these clasps are tricky to do Ugh. okay so I've got that closed okay I know you guys can't see because all the feathers but I'm going to trim away some of the feathers so you guys can see more so of how it looks so yeah you just trim away some of these excess feathers because do you need them okay Woo! feathers everywhere so you can see it a little better now see and you've got the top right here and now you can't see it because the but the top right there has that little hole still in it you just can't see it let me see if I can I'm trying to snip away all this excess but it really doesn't matter if you have excess hanging above it because you're not gonna see it because it's it's feathers so you're not even really gonna see the class but anyway this is what it looks like once you have put all of the um, put the clasp down okay so that's pretty much it you're pretty much done with the project really um, what I'm gonna do I'm not going to I might make another pair of earrings if this video doesn't run over but if you wanted to make it longer and like dangle all the way down here you can add chain to it but what we're gonna do real quick is we're actually just going to add a jump ring and oh I forgot you also need um, earring hooks okay so just any type of earring hook okay about that so you're just going to take your jump ring here and open it up you can go ahead and put your you can also go ahead and slide your earring hook on there just like that and you're simply going to hook it to the top of this whoops do it the other way around so my earring there we go like I said the top of that clasp has a little uh, has a hole in it so and there you go there is your finished earring and see, so you can't even see you can't see the um, you don't have to worry about seeing the um, the rope because you can't see it at all it's hidden okay so I'll show you guys what this looks like on these are so fun to make. I've made like two pair already. So there you go. See, you have a really, this is really cute, really cute, fun pair of earrings to make. Just really fun. So I'll go ahead and do another one just to show you um, in case you didn't really get the first one, which it's really simple, really easy. We'll do a white one now. Okay, so we'll use the white one for this project. And see at the end this shows you more so like they just tie rope on the end of it that's it they do but you can cut this off just cut it off because we won't be needing it of course and then what you want to do is again just measure how long you want this to be so like I said, we want our earring to be, that's a good length. So you just cut it however long or short you want it to be. Okay. You pull away any stray hairs, hairs, feathers. <laughs> You can pluck them off. It's really easy to just pluck them off. Okay. This one will be a better one to show you because this one has a longer tail. Okay. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the tail down just a little. Just cut it off just like that. So I have that much hanging out. This one will be a better for you guys to see. Um, 
actually I don't want that much tail you do want to try to get feathers in there with it because it just helps hold it better okay all right so that's what we have left okay that's what we have left you're going to take your clasp you're going to stick it in the clasp opening just like that and hold it with your thumb and this finger you're going to hold it in there you're going to take your flat nose pliers and you're going to squeeze the clamps i squeeze one side first I squeeze one side first and get it you have to squeeze really tight and then i go in and do the other side which can sometimes be a challenge. Okay. Ugh. So once you squeeze the clasp, oh, it came open. All right. This is the problem you'll run into with the clasp. They can be hard to close and very slippery. Very slippery. All right. Now I'm getting irritated. Oh my God, close. All right. Yeah, so I'm trying to use my finger to close it and that, that really hurts these clasps if they're not closed right it can be really hard to do so you just gotta keep trying though because like I said with this being like metal or whatever it is and then this clasp being metal of course it's slippery so your your things are gonna not grip as well as you'd like them to let me see if I can put it somewhere and try to hurt. Dang, love it. Here we go. God bless. All right. That's good enough. That's the only issue that really, with me at least, that's the only issue I have is with the class. Closing the class, it can be really difficult. Um, sometimes it goes by really smooth. Sometimes it takes a minute to do. So, once you do that, see the hole right here, and that's you can see it better. Once you have that, all you do is simply take again your jump ring, take your jump ring, open it, just give it a little twist like that, add your earring hook, and add it to the ring, just like that. And close the jump ring and there you have it another really quick cute earring these are fun to make you guys you have to show me if you make these earrings I love them how cute is this like especially for the summertime you guys know these are cute these are really really cute with something just a simple top you know pair of jean shorts or whatever really cute for the summer really really cute okay so that's it this was really simple really easy I hope you guys enjoy it like I said you can do a two-tone earring like this and the only difference oh my feathers is coming out that's the only thing you might have to worry a little bit about too not really like if you pull if you kind of like brush your fingers through the um, through the feathers of course before you wear them you should be okay because like I said these feathers are just tied on rope okay but like I said just just comb through the um, feathers a little bit to make sure there are no loose feathers and if there are just you know just pluck them out but for the most part they're they're on there pretty well okay um, but like I said for the two-tone earrings the only thing you will need is the difference is you will need is chain that's it 
and all I did was put one feather on the um, bottom like three rings I'll put one on there and then one at the top three rings I'll put on there and that way you get them longer and they dangle more okay so that's the only difference in those I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial like I said really simple really fun um, really easy to do again to my divas out there who also sell jewelry this is you know if you like uh, um, feather earrings um, the same rule applies with um, earrings feathers that you get from your local craft store just you know um, feather tips or whatever they call them same thing applies um, these clasps are great for that they also have smaller clasps because um, this is for something that's big like if you have something big and chunky that you're want to, wanting to put in it but they also have smaller clasps that, that you can use as well um, for smaller items so you can definitely check that look at that I have like feathers all over me now like I said that's the only thing bad about this project is of course you get feathers everywhere but it's still fun to do um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I said that like four times already but I do hope you enjoy the tutorials if there is um, something that you would like me to do um, as far as a tutorial please leave a comment below or you can message me personally and I will try to do it okay um, yeah these are really really cute oh I'm gonna be doing a um, a review on this wig also because I've gotten a lot of compliments from this wig but anyway hope you guys enjoyed it I will list all the materials needed down in the description box for you guys um, and if you have any questions about it or whatever, just go ahead and ask or comment down below. Other than that, I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you guys again later. Oh, stay tuned also because I'm going to announce the winners of the, um, the flower earrings that I made that I was going to be giving away. I didn't forget about you guys. I've just been really busy. I said I was only going to do it for a few days, and then it ended up going for like over a week, I think. So anyway, up next, I'll go ahead and announce the winners for that. So thanks for watching. Bye.